Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. In this video, I am going to show you Maven and GIST installation and configuration. My name is Shankar. I am from Velaxi Technologies. I am a AWS and a DevOps instructor over here. Let's go. So in this, first we are going to download Maven from this link. This is the link where you can find Maven latest version packages. Once you have downloaded by using WGate in your Linux system, you need to set up the uh, paths. So for that, you need to execute m2 underscore home and m, m2 paths. You can set it for temporarily like this or else if you want to make it permanently, you need to, it's better to update in the dot bash underscore profile under your home directory. This is how you need to uh, set up your Maven. Then we are going to install Git. It is simple, yum install Git. And you can check your Maven version by using a Maven hyphen hyphen version. Once you have installed Maven on your uh, OS level, then you need to set it up in the Jenkins level as well. So in Jenkins level, first you need to download the packages. So for that, to log into Jenkins console, then uh, you need to install the plugins at the, at the Jenkins level by going to the Manage Jenkins and Manage Plugins, Available Plugins, and Maven Invoker. Similar way, you need to down, uh, download the Git, GitHub plugin as well. Then you should uh, set up the Maven and Git, Git paths under global tool configuration, which is there under again Maven uh, Manage Jenkins. Under Manage Jenkins global tool configuration, you need to set up the Maven path, which you can find in our OS level. Similar way, you need to set up Git path, but for Git, you can directly give the Git uh, as a path. After this, we are going to run a test job. To run a test job, we can create a new item under that hello world we are going to select uh, give a uh, project name or uh, title then choose the maven project because it is a maven project we are going to build with maven project i have a simple java code called hello world uh, under my maven hello world code in my github this is the my github location and uh, i'm going to set up the goals install package we also can use the clean install okay then we are going to save and build and run once you ran you can able to see that it it it, it gets successfully built under console output and uh, in our next videos we are going to see the installation on jenkins uh, installing a jenkins slave installing nexus and build a uh, job to uh, store artifacts on nexus if you need this ppt please uh, uh, drop an email or uh, uh, write your mail in the comment section so let's go and jump in into our AWS console and we'll try to deploy it. So this is my Jenkins server, which is uh, I have already just now created. And this is my public IP with that one. I have logged into my Jenkins server as well. So this is my Jenkins console. It is empty. And first you need to download your Maven. Maven is, uh, this is the link you can download ma your Maven software. This is the official Maven uh, website link. So under this one, there is a binary tab.zip to download you can go with copy the link address and uh, this is my okay it has been timed out let me open the duplicate session so this is my session and uh, yep now what i will do i will go to slash opt maven i have created this directory cd slash opt under opt maven under maven i am going to download it something is there just to remove it nothing is there now let me download to download we are going to use wget followed by the link whatever we have copied so this is the link and it is going to download maven packages onto our system now this is the package which is under tar.gz so to extract this one this one tar minus xv xvzf this is the command to extract your data sorry your uh, archive file now it has been extracted so let's jump in apache under this one you could find bin this is the location it is going to expect now let's set up the uh, uh, paths so this is the one of the path you need to set it up so for this let's go to our uh, i'm running this one as a root so under root i'm going to set it up va this is the file you need to update for set up your uh, variables permanently so under this one i already set the java underscore home similar way m2 underscore home is equal to 
the path uh, whatever wherever we have our bin is available this is the location let me cross check with our uh, ppt so this is the location yes then m2 underscore home we are taking this one as a input and slash bin so m2 is equal to dollar sorry dollar m2 underscore home colon slash bin okay this is the location we need to set it up now everything is fine now let's set up under path whatever values we are having that is uh, dollar m2 underscore uh, home as well as uh, m2 dollar m2 okay so i have set up the required path let me save it and you need to relog in to make it effect otherwise you cannot find it before uh, relogging in i'm going to show you path and you cannot able to see the our new uh, maven paths if i go with the duplicate session under this one i could able to see the latest path which we have set it up echo dollar path that's it you can see here your maven path has been set it up okay everything is good let's go and jump into our uh, console under this one we need to go to manage jenkins because plugins are mandatory to run your jobs under this one manage plugins and we are going to install available plugins we need to choose under availability plugins we need to install maven invoker as well as git so these are the available plugins let me search for the maven so here maven so there is a maven invoker yeah this is the plugin i'm installing without restart and uh, next thing is i'm going to do git now maven invoker has been installed successfully let's go back and uh, also we need to go to manage jenkins and uh, here we have a global tool configuration under this one you need to specify your maven path for that uh, jdk already i have set it up with java path in our previous uh, video while we are uh, installing our uh, jenkins now you got maven uh, if you don't install your plugin you cannot find this one over here under this one we need uh, yes it is required so maven i'm going to give under the path of the maven because we are not going to install maven underscore home we already know that one the path of maven underscore home is this one let me copy that slash opt till here okay so let's set it up and uh, if there is any issue it will trigger immediately apply save that's it now maven has been configured successfully similar way we need to do the git for git also first you need to install git minus y once you have installed uh, let it run meantime we will go and uh, download the plugins so uh, manage plugins under manage plugins available under yeah under this one select as a search for github so you can able to find github plugin yeah this is the one github plugin and install without restart and meantime we'll go and check it out in our server yeah git has been installed that's cool and here also it is right with this one some of the dependency plugins also get installed no worries that is a default behavior now we have done the installation and if we go to the global tool configuration for git it is already there so nothing to change just you need to give the git and it is a default apply save now my git uh, uh, jenkins is ready to run a job so you can create a new job or new item by selecting this option so i am going with maven project and project name i am giving maven hello world okay simply and this is a maven project select it once you have selected maven project then you need to give the location of your code it is currently under git and you need to give the git path let me grab it from here so this is our git path sorry so this is our git path 
and uh, if your uh, git is a private repository you need to provide the credentials which i'm going to show you in later classes as of now it is a open source it won't ask for the credentials then once it is done this is the palm.xml where you are going to tell you dependencies and what is the package it should build all this stuff next one install package okay this is the goals we are going to choose and apply save that's it we have done and let me build it and we'll see it should get success if it is failed we are going to check why it is failed so it is running if it is come as a blue that means success red means it get failed yeah it's running it is downloading the required packages i just opened it so initially for initial uh, build it will take time because uh, it is going to download the required packages from the internet and uh, it has to build because dependency of packages i mean to say libraries it has to download that's why it will be uh, initial build will be take a little longer time let's see see here it is downloading different different track packages from the uh, repository of maven hope it gets success okay that's it it has uh, completed successfully nothing but whatever we have given it has been created the uh, required uh, packages and it has successfully completed but it took little longer time because it is a first build if i go and run the second build it will be quite faster and uh, this is your jenkins dashboard where it is going to show you as a green color and it is a shiny uh, sun nothing but build has been whatever you have done it is successful and it took four minutes 30 seconds okay for my first build to download all the packages okay four minutes seven seconds if you see here okay hope this video helps you and see you in next video as i told you i am going to do in next video on installing jenkins slave and also nexus installing nexus and run a job on slave to store the data on nexus whatever artifacts it generates that's all for this video and see you in next video and thank you hope uh, enjoy